This video gives a brief introduction to the MATLAB tank level GUI. The key steps then are, first, move to the relevant folder in MATLAB and check that you can see the P file and the M file. Then type the name of the file in the command window to run. I will demonstrate this in a moment. Once you've done that, you can use the pop-up menu to select whether you want open loop or closed loop control. You can set the desired target. That only works for closed loop control. You can set the initial depth and then you can use the radio button to begin. So we'll move to the MATLAB window now and you will see all these steps. So here's the MATLAB window. So the first thing is make sure you're in the right folder. You can see here I've moved to the folder which I've called tank level GUIs where I've put the files. So if I type what in the command window, you can see here there are the names of the files. You see I've got a P file and I've got a fig file, which is what you need for GUIs to work. So what I'm going to do is put the name of the file into the command line and run. And the GUI will come up. So here it is. It doesn't fit particularly well on this screen. You're better off having a larger screen, but that's what I've got for this video capture software. So first thing then, select whether you want open loop or closed loop. You can see I can have open loop with input of 0, open loop with an input of 1, or closed loop. So I'll choose open loop with an input of 0. I'll change the initial depth to 0.8. It doesn't really matter what you put. The target depth isn't really relevant at this point. So what I'm going to do is just press run for the simulation to work. And you'll see what happens because there's no input. The tank gradually empties, as you expect. And what you'll see is that you have this plot on the right of the change in depth, and you will have noticed that the tank itself gradually empties as that happens. Now, if you want to do closed loop, go to the pop-up mem mem menu, select closed loop. It's best to make the initial depths somewhat smaller, otherwise you'll get nonsense. Decide what you want for the proportional. Up here I've got a 1, and for the integral, up here I've got 0, so no integral at the moment. And then again, I can change the target depth if I want. For example, we could set 1.2. And you'll notice this black line moves. This black line represents the target depth. And then I press to run the simulation. And there, this is the effect of proportional feedback. Now, as you will know, with proportional feedback, you end up with an offset. It doesn't work particularly well. And this is fairly clear, because you look at the picture, you can see the target with the dark line and the tank simply does not fill. So I could add some integral and see if this makes any difference. So I've just put a little bit of integral and I can run the simulation again. And see, does this make much difference? Now you'll notice the inflow at the top here was going very big. You notice there was a brief overflow. So the key thing is the students can see that actually this choice of PI didn't work particularly well because the inflow got too big and you've got a slight overflow on the tank. And thereafter, they can now play with the parameters and come up with the design of their choice.